look, I'm not the one to complain about it because I know how things are manipulated and made to make it seem like it ain't something as to what it is. But it is what it is. There's a video of just some regular random dude that had 16 subscribers. And in the title is just, you know, Kobe Bryant assassination. I thought about just... Well, let me put that in the title just to test it. Because, you know, like, Steve wants to test how... He's showing you what he's in control of with the thumbs up, thumbs down, taking the view count out, just not getting enough... Richie from Boston has talked about it all the time. It's a video from just yesterday. Like, he's already got over... It's like 600 views, something around there. Just off the bat. 16 subscribers. Right. Either way, if it's just, you know, no, nothing is manipulated, nobody doesn't do anything from the inside, Steve doesn't do those kind of things. He's a very honest man. Even if that's the case, then then that's the case. Whatever. The helicopter was... Well, let's just say this. Kobe Bryant's helicopter is... is it, well, it drove him to the island where he already went. And it's over there, and it's fine. It's in it's in one piece, and it and it works perfect. What they told you is they heard a helicopter in the sky, but they, they couldn't see a helicopter. It was a bunch of fog and smoke. It was so smoky and foggy, you know, because they had that, that thing at the, at the ground there pushing up all the smoke and fog after the fact. But it was so foggy and smoky that people heard a sound they just didn't see anything it's like smoke and mirrors and Bose sound surround sound system it's kind of like that where when it's smoky in the sky and you hear this sound of a helicopter and uh, and then and then all, all that they heard what they heard a bang I mean you heard a helicopter, but you didn't see a helicopter. It was It's because it was extremely foggy and smoky. But there's eyewitnesses there that said they seen it. They seen the helicopter because they're the ones paid to say they seen the helicopter. It's like pyrotechnicians. They, they, and then they set up the damn snake on the trail. I mean, you can't even make this stuff up. You can't, you can't even possibly write this script up. The more you listen to the actors, Hollywood people, giving their two cents, it's like, I don't know, I mean, I what was it like when you first heard that Kobe Bryant died? I, I was like, I don't even believe it. Like, I mean, how can you? I mean, I, well, so, you know, because it's so shocking and devastating and it's sudden and random and we had no clue that... We were going to say that he died and, and just watch how people are just, uh, you're sucking the life out of them. Not on this channel. I'm not allowing it to happen over here. You're not sucking the life out of my subs. Screw you. Nope. Because that is the goal. That's exactly what the evil side is. They want to suck up all your energy. It sounds simple. <clears throat> like there's supposed to be more devastation, like real devastation out there, than, but it's not. The most devastating thing that can happen to a human soul is for their life to get sucked out of them by someone that loves to suck life. As they see you whimpering around because they're surveilling you and stalking you, they love that you're because they ha they they control you and your life and <clears throat> there's disgusting sickening people out there that thoroughly enjoy doing it it's they thoroughly enjoy doing that just as much as you thoroughly can't stand people doing that it's all about the energy can they steal your energy from you? 
I mean, they've tried to take my energy, and a lot of times they have taken my energy. And then I started to get hip to the game where, ah, I see. So all you guys are just in on it, and you're pretending to be against each other. You're pretending to be my friend, but you're really clinging to me with flatteries. And then when I say make a stand for SJD, which was my way of testing everybody at that time, which I didn't quite know that that's what I was going to do, but in the end, that's exactly what happened. I tested everybody, and then... Then all the people, man, all the people that were friendly to me started to turn against me. Some for my own good, others for just because it's time to start messing with Robin. Because who's this SJD character? He's bringing up uh, Harold Camping to me, May 21st. He's bringing up that, you know, that date. <clears throat> Who is SJD? So I needed to find out. Nobody would have known that it went that it went this way, where I found out. Because I was for him at first, and then uh, then I made the stand, and then I, I was the only one for him publicly, anyway. And then everybody else who was lying was hiding behind the scenes. You guys were always for him anyway, because you know who he is. Then I went with, it's time to stand on SJD and his lying ass numbers. And the same people that were friends to me at first and then turned against me at first and then became friends again. It was like the whole, it's like how do you go, you're not authentic if you're going from one to the other and then to the other. It's either or, it's either one or the other, ain't it? So those people that do that are the ones in between. You're just kind of on the fence, like, you know, and I, I get it. But truly, though, if you can, if you can fight, or if you're for somebody, and then, if you're friends, and then you have a fallout, a lot of times, people don't get back and reconcile things. They just hold on to the anger, and or it's time to just move on past that. But at the same time, as I did that with Stephen James over there, now, well, he's a good friend. He knows that, and I know that, but not at this, at not in this this timing of this reality prank TV show to keep secrets. Let, let's keep secrets from Robin show. That's what this show is. It's like keep secrets from Robin. Let, let him, wait, just tell me. What's the, what's the point of holding all the, the, the lies anymore? What, it's all coming out in the open anyway. But all the secrets, they'll, they'll come to the surface. Everything will... Everything will come to the light. So going back to going from one to the other and then back again, knowing that this is someone from the inside who is my enemy and then just knowing that's a fact and then understanding the purpose of why they are doing the things that they're doing. Then it starts to make more sense. Then it's easier to... It's easier to not be disgusted. And that's the whole point. I was just trying not to be sickened. Because the lies make me sick. I'll never... I'll never appreciate lies. I just don't... Which brings me back to the Kobe crash. The uh, helicopter. It was in the sky. The sound. Nobody's seen it. They heard it, but they didn't see it, and there was thick smoke. The one guy said, just imagine d jumping into a, a big tub of milk underneath and then lifting and then lifting your head up and trying to see. That's, that's what Kobe Bryant was under. Uh, it's a craft. It's 
smoke and it's mirrors and it's a lot of sounds so get used to it because the next one's going to be more devastating than the first